Hello guys, uh, Karol here from True Rock and Rolla channel. <clears throat> um, today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to um, record from PlayStation 3 uh, in full HD uh, using HDMI cables. So what you need for this is the Soul Splitter. Uh, there are a few movies a few videos I mean on YouTube already but none of them actually show that it's 1080p so uh, except of one one on of one channel called dark at 69 uh, I'll put it in the description so you can check the another movie another video I mean so um, okay let's get to it what we need is this like I said soul splitter I'll put it in the description as well just to show you how small this thing is it's my subway card so have a look it's it's basically here you can see it's it's shorter and just a bit wider it's it's very small okay so uh, I have three HDMI cables here I already connected them at the back to PS3 um, for to, to be just quicker so let me just connect them. So this one goes out from PS3 so we're gonna put it here in front for HDMI input sorry it's hard to do with one hand so as you can see it has uh, two outputs uh, which is very cool for um, no delay pass through. Um, it's for for like action games and especially fighting games. That's definitely something awesome because every frame counts. The other thing good about this is that if you just connect it that from here, the one to um, your recorder, HD recorder, and second one to TV, then. You don't need your PC or HD PVR, Elgato, or whatever, whatever the capture device you use. You don't need it to be turned on to use your PlayStation 3. So let me just connect it. Maybe I'll leave the camera here. It'll be easier for me. Okay, so let's first output. I'm gonna connect it to the input on my HD PVR and just to show you first maybe uh, I'll, I'll use just the, the soil splitter okay I need to power it up let's do it okay everything is connected now let me just start my PS3 as you can see it works no problem like it said there is no delay pass through if you have a, as well a capture card that uh, doesn't support no delay pass through you can just use this so just to show you um, display it's 1080p okay but what we what we want here is to show that we actually can record in 1080p so what I'm gonna do uh, like already I have it connected to my to my HD PVR but uh, and I could use it like that like I said but just to fully show you that everything works fine I'm just gonna connect this cable that goes to TV uh, to HD PVR output Ok, 
Okay, as you can see, the the image is there. An ADP again. So as you can see, it's the cable from PS3 coming in. We have only one output here, right? Going to HDP VR, and from HDP VR we have an output going to a to a TV. So uh, let's start the capturing application. I'm using a hopage capture, it's a, it's a beta. So, uh, definitely should work. I need to power cycle the because it wasn't connected when I started it. Maybe that's the issue. Definitely the video goes through it because we can see the, the image on TV. Okay, yeah, I, I just had to um, power power off the HDP VR and powered it on just because it was power off when I connected the cables I guess that was that was the, the issue. Okay um, I hope you can see on my screen it's 1080p good luck and um, my friend the dark seed 69 uh, he said that he wasn't sure he, he didn't have the game that was 1080p I did the search on Google and apparently there is not that many games that actually are fully 1080p the most of them are just upscaled but I have one that it's actually uh, um, 1080p so let's just start it I just turn off the speakers so we don't have a, like a double sound. So as you can see, we have the the image 1080p. I try to show it. Yeah, that's the input resolution. 60 FPS, but I think it only records in, in 30. So let me just just do a quick short recording. Okay, it's fine. So I think we need to go to edit and that's that's our video and you can you can play it you will see that it, it just works fine <laughs> yeah that's what we recorded no problem um, maybe I'll try to connect it but I don't think it's really a need to 
to put it so yeah as you can see that's the I think the easiest um, way to do it and you can use this litter with um, Elgato, Avermedia, HDP VR2 no problem it, it, it works just fine through HDMI and that's the biggest thing I think the the splitter itself costs only like twenty two dollars the only problem is that um, they don't ship to Europe I mean they have the the shipment international shipment but um, it's very expensive it was like sixty sixty dollars to um, to actually post to Europe so I had to ask my friend to bring from for me from from states but it works I'm very happy with that and uh, yeah it's that uh, I'll put all the links to description and uh, I'll see you guys in games <laughs>